Welcome to Scienceado Robotics. What is robotics? Robotics is a branch of engineering that involves the conception, design, manufacture and operation of robots. The objective of the robotics field is to create intelligent machines that can assist humans in a variety of ways. In this video we are going to see about cloud robotics in detail. What is cloud robotics? It is a field of robotics that attempts to invoke cloud technologies such as cloud computing, cloud storage, and other internet technologies centered on the benefits of converged infrastructure and shared services for robotics. When connected to the cloud, robots can benefit from the powerful computation, storage, and communication resources of modern data center in the cloud, which can process and share information from various robots or agent, other machines, smart objects, humans, etc. Humans can also delegate tasks to robots remotely through networks. Cloud computing technologies enable robot systems to be endowed with powerful capability whilst reducing costs through cloud technologies. Thus, it is possible to build lightweight, low-cost, smarter robots with an intelligent brain in the cloud. The brain consists of data center, knowledge base, task planners, deep learning, information processing, environment models, communication support, etc. Components. A cloud for robots potentially has at least six significant components. Building a cloud brain for robots. It is the main object of cloud robotics. 2. Offering a global library of images, maps, and object data, often with geometry and mechanical properties, expert system, knowledge base, i.e. semantic web, data centers. 3. Massively parallel computation on demand for sample-based statistical modeling and motion planning, task planning, multi-robot collaboration, scheduling and coordination of system. 4. Robot sharing of outcomes, trajectories, and dynamic control policies and robot learning support. 5. Human sharing of open source, code, data, and designs for programming, experimentation, and hardware construction. 6. On demand human guidance and assistance for evaluation, learning, and error recovery. 7. Augmented human robot interaction through various way semantics knowledge base, Apple Siri-like service etc. Applications Autonomous mobile robots Google's self-driving cars are cloud robots. The cars use the network to access Google's enormous database of maps and satellite and environment model, like Street View, and combines it with streaming data from GPS, cameras, and 3D sensors to monitor its own position within centimeters, and with past and current traffic patterns to avoid collisions. Each car can learn something about environments, roads, or driving, or conditions, and it sends the information to the Google Cloud, where it can be used to improve the performance of other cars. Cloud Medical Robots A medical cloud, also called a healthcare cluster, consists of various services such as a disease archive, electronic medical records, a patient health management system, practice services, analytics services, clinic solutions, expert systems, etc. A robot can connect to the cloud to provide clinical service to patients, as well as deliver assistance to doctors, e.g. a co-surgery robot. Moreover, it also provides a collaboration service by sharing information between doctors and caregivers about clinical treatment. Assistive Robots A domestic robot can be employed for health care and life monitoring for elderly people. The system collects the health status of users and exchange information with cloud expert system or doctors to facilitate elderly people's life, especially for those with chronic diseases. For example, the robots are able to provide support to prevent the elderly from falling down, emergency healthy support such as heart disease, blooding disease. Caregivers of elderly people can also get notification when in emergency from the robot through network. Industrial robots. As highlighted by the German government's Industry 4.0 plan, industry is on the threshold of the fourth industrial revolution. 
Driven by the Internet, the real and virtual worlds are growing closer and closer together to form the Internet of Things. Industrial production of the future will be characterized by the strong individualization of products under the conditions of highly flexible, large series, production, the extensive integration of customers and business partners in business and value-added processes, and the linking of production and high-quality services leading to so-called hybrid products. In manufacturing, such cloud-based robot systems could learn to handle tasks such as threading wires or cables, or aligning gaskets from a professional knowledge base. A group of robots can share information for some collaborative tasks. Even more, a consumer is able to place customized product orders to manufacturing robots directly with online ordering systems. Once an order is placed, a warehouse robot dispatches the item to an autonomous car or autonomous drone to deliver it to its recipient. Learn a cloud brain for robots. Lifelong learning. Leveraging lifelong learning to build a cloud brain for robots was proposed by CAS. The author was motivated by the problem of how to make robots fuse and transfer their experience so that they can effectively use prior knowledge and quickly adapt to new environments. To address the problem, they present a learning architecture for navigation in cloud robotic systems, Lifelong Federated Reinforcement Learning LFRL. Then, effective transfer learning methods in LFRL are introduced. LFRL is consistent with human cognitive science and fits well in cloud robotic systems. Experiments show that LFRL greatly improves the efficiency of reinforcement learning for robot navigation. The cloud robotic system deployment also shows that LFRL is capable of fusing prior knowledge. Federated learning. Leveraging lifelong learning to build a cloud brain for robots was proposed in 2020. Humans are capable of learning a new behavior by observing others to perform the skill. Similarly, robots can also implement this by imitation learning. It provides a heterogeneous knowledge fusion mechanism for cloud robotic systems. It enables the cloud to fuse heterogeneous knowledge from local robots and generate guide models for robots with service requests. After that, we introduce a knowledge transfer scheme to facilitate local robots acquiring knowledge from the cloud. With Phil, a robot is capable of utilizing knowledge from other robots to increase its imitation learning in accuracy and efficiency. Compared with transfer learning and meta-learning, Phil is more suitable to be deployed in cloud robotic systems. They conduct experiments of a self-driving task for robots, cars. The experimental results demonstrate that the shared model generated by Phil increases imitation learning efficiency of local robots in cloud robotic systems. Peer-assisted learning. Leveraging peer-assisted learning to build a cloud brain for robots was proposed by UM. A technological revolution is occurring in the field of robotics with the data-driven deep learning technology. However, building datasets for each local robot is laborious. Meanwhile, data islands between local robots make data unable to be utilized collaboratively. To address this issue, the work presents peer-assisted robotic learning PARL, in robotics, which is inspired by the peer-assisted learning in cognitive psychology and pedagogy. PARL implements data collaboration with the framework of cloud robotic systems. Both data and models are shared by robots to the cloud after semantic computing and training locally. The cloud converges the data and performs augmentation, integration, and transferring. Finally, fine-tune this larger shared dataset in the cloud to local robots. Furthermore, we propose the DAT network, data augmentation and transferring network, to implement the data processing in PARL. DAT network can realize the augmentation of data from multi-local robots. The authors conduct experiments on a simplified self-driving task for robots, cars. DAT network has a significant improvement in the augmentation in self-driving scenarios. 
Along with this, the self-driving experimental results also demonstrate that PARL is capable of improving learning effects with data collaboration of local robots. Limitations of Cloud Robotics Though robots can benefit from various advantages of cloud computing, cloud is not the solution to all of robotics. Controlling a robot's motion which relies heavily on, real-time, sensors and feedback of controller may not benefit much from the cloud. Tasks that involve real-time execution require onboard processing. Cloud-based applications can get slow or unavailable due to high latency responses or network hitch. If a robot relies too much on the cloud, a fault in the network could leave it, brainless. Challenges the research and development of cloud robotics has following potential issues and challenges. Scalable parallelization grid computing, parallelization schemes scale with the size of automation infrastructure. Effective load balancing, balancing operations between local and cloud computation. Knowledge bases and representations. Collective learning for automation in cloud. Infrastructure, platform or software as a service. Internet of Things for Robotics. Integrated and collaborative fault-tolerant control. Big Data. Data, collected and or disseminated over large, accessible networks can enable decisions for classification problems or reveal patterns. Wireless communication, connectivity to the cloud. System architectures of robot cloud. Open source, open access infrastructures. Workload sharing. Standards and protocols. Risks. Environmental security. The concentration of computing resources and users in a cloud computing environment also represents a concentration of security threats. Because of their size and significance, cloud environments are often targeted by virtual machines and bot malware, brute force attacks, and other attacks. Data privacy and security. Hosting confidential data with cloud service providers involves the transfer of a considerable amount of an organization's control over data security to the provider. For example, every cloud contains a huge information from the clients include personal data. If a household robot is hacked, users could have risk of their personal privacy and security, like house layout, life snapshot, home view, etc. It may be accessed and leaked to the world around by criminals. Another problem is once a robot is hacked and controlled by someone else, which may put the user in danger. Ethical problems, some ethics of robotics, especially for cloud-based robotics must be considered. Since a robot is connected via networks, it has risk to be accessed by other people. If a robot is out of control and carries out illegal activities, who should be responsible for it? Hit the like button if you like this video and share your ideas in the comment section. And of course do subscribe.